This is a recording of an article on Wikipedia and was recorded by user Popular Outcast. The material recorded is current as of the April 18, 2009 revision of the article. Chiff Chaff from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. The common chiff chaff, or simply chiff chaff, Philoscopus calibida, is a common and widespread leaf warbler named for its distinctive onomatopoeic song, which breeds in open woodlands throughout northern and temperate Europe and Asia. It is a migratory passerine which winters in southern and western Europe, southern Asia, and North Africa. Greenish-brown above and off-white below, it is named for its simple chiff-chaff song. It has a number of subspecies, some of which are now treated as full species. The female builds a dome nest on or near the ground, and assumes most of the responsibility for brooding and feeding the chicks, whilst the male has little involvement in nesting, but defends his territory against rivals and attacks potential predators. A small insectivorous bird, it is subject to predation by mammals such as cats and mustelids, and birds, particularly hawks of the genus Accipiter. It may also acquire external or internal parasites. Its large range and population mean that its status is secure, although one subspecies is probably extinct. The following is a listing of the contents of this article. Section 1 Taxonomy. Section 2. Description. Section 3. Distribution and Habitat. Section 4. Behavior. Section 5. Predators and Threats. Section 6. Status. Section 7. References. Section 8. External Links. Section 1. Taxonomy. The British naturalist Gilbert White was one of the first people to separate the similar-looking chiff-chaff, willow warbler, and wood warbler by their songs, as detailed in 1789 in the Natural History and Antiquities of Selborne. But the chiff-chaff was first formally described as Sylvia calibida by French ornithologist Louis Veillot in 1817 in his Nouvelle Dictionnaire d'Histoire Naturelle. Described by German zoologist Heinrich Boy in 1826, the genus Philoscopus contains about 50 species of small insectivorous old-world woodland warblers which are either greenish or brown above and yellowish white or buff below. The genus was formerly part of the Old World Warbler family, Sylvidae, but has now been split off as a separate family, Philoscopidae. The chiff-chaff's closest relatives, other than former subspecies, are a group of leaf warblers which similarly lack crown stripes, a yellow rump, or obvious wing bars. They include the willow, bonelli's, wood, and plain-leaf warblers. The chiff-chaff has three still commonly accepted subspecies, together with some from the Iberian Peninsula, the Canary Islands, and the Caucasus, which are now more often treated as full species. Section 1.1 .1, Subspecies P. C. Calibida, the nominate form, breeds in Europe, east to Poland, and Bulgaria, and is described below. It mainly winters in the south of its breeding range around the Mediterranean and in North Africa. It has been expanding its range northwards into Scandinavia since 1970, and close to the southern edge of the range of P. C. abitinus. P. C. abitinus occurs in Scandinavia and northern Russia, and winters from southeastern Europe and northeastern Africa east to Iraq and western Iran. It is intermediate in appearance between P. C. tristis and P. C. calibida, being grey-washed, olive-green above, with a pale yellow supercilium, and underparts whiter than in P. C. calibida. But it has very similar vocalizations to the nominate subspecies. Due to individual variation, it can be difficult to reliably separate P. 
PC abitinus and PC calibita outside their main breeding and wintering ranges. P. C. Tristis, the Siberian chiffchaff, breeds in Siberia east of the Pechora River and winters in the lower Himalayas. It is a dull subspecies, gray or brownish above and whitish below, with little yellow in the plumage and the buff white supercilium is often longer than in the western subspecies. It has a higher pitch switzist swissit song and a short high pitched cheat call. It is sometimes considered to be a full species due to its distinctive plumage and vocalizations, being similar to P. S. Sindianus in these respects. Nominate P. C. Calibida and P. C. Tristus do not recognize each other's songs. Pending resolution of the status of P. C. fulvicens, which is found where the ranges of P. C. abitinus and P. C. tristis connect, and may or may not be a hybrid between these, tristis is maintained in P. calibida. Section 1.2 Former Subspecies P. Ibericus, the Iberian chiffchaff, is brighter, greener on the rump, and yellower below than P. calibida, and has a tit 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 swee swee song. It was initially named P. bremi, but the type specimen of that taxon is not an Iberian chiffchaff. This species is found in Portugal and Spain, west of a line stretching roughly from the western Pyrenees via the mountains of central Spain to the Mediterranean. The Iberian and common chiffchaffs co-occur in a narrow band along this line. Apart from the northernmost section, the precise course of the contact zone is not well documented. A long-distance migrant, this species winters in western Africa. It differs from P. C. calibida in vocalizations, external morphology, and mtDNA sequences. There is hybridization in the contact zone, almost always between male P. ibericus and female P. C. calibida, and hybrids apparently show much decreased fitness. Hybrid females appear to be sterile according to Hal Dane's rule. Regarding the latter aspect, it is interesting to note that the Iberian chiffchaff apparently is the oldest lineage of chiffchaffs and quite distinct from the common chiffchaff. P. canariensis, the Canary Islands chiffchaff, is a non-migratory species formally occurring on the major Canary Islands, which is differentiated from P. calibida by morphology, vocalizations, and genetic characteristics, and of course is not sympatric with any other chiffchaffs. The nominate western subspecies, P. C. canariensis, of El Hierro, La Palma, La Gomera, Tenerife, and Gran Canaria is smaller than common chiffchaff and has shorter, rounder wings. It is olive brown above and has a buff breast and flanks. It has a rich, deep chip, cheep, cheep, chip, chip, cheep song and a call similar to the nominate race. The eastern P. C. Exel of Lanzarote and possibly Fuerteventura is paler above and less rufous below than its western relative and had a harsher call. It might have been a distinct species, but it became extinct in 1986 at latest, probably much earlier. The reasons for its extinction are unclear, but it appears always to have been scarce and localized, occurring only in the Aria Valley of Lanzarote. P. Sindianus, the mountain chiffchaff, is found in the Caucasus and Himalayas, and is an altitudinal migrant, moving to lower levels in winter. The nominate subspecies is similar to P. C. tristis, but with a finer, darker bill, browner upper parts, and buff flanks. Its song is almost identical to P. calibida, but the call is a weak pursue. P. 
P.S. Lorenzi is warmer and darker brown than the nominate race. It is sympatric with common chiffchaff in a small area in the western Caucasus, but interbreeding occurs rarely, if ever. The mountain chiffchaff differs from Tristus in vocalizations, external morphology, and empty DNA sequences. Its two subspecies appear to be distinct vocally and also show some difference in mtDNA sequences. They are maintained at subspecies rank pending further research. Section 1.3 Etymology The Chiffchaff's English name is onomatopoeic, referring to the repetitive Chiffchaff song of the European subspecies. There are similar names in some other European languages, such as German Zilpzalp and Welsh Sifsaf. The binomial name is of Greek origin. Philoscopus comes from philon, leaf, and scopio, to look at or to see, since the genus comprises species that spend much of their time feeding in trees, while calibida is a corruption of calibistus, money-changer, the song being likened to the jingling of coins. Two images accompanied this section of the article. The first has the caption, Sketch spectrograms comparing calls of, from left to right, the subspecies Calibida, Abitinus, and Tristis. The caption for the second image is, Essentially the entire historic range of the extinct Eastern Canary Islands Chiffchaff, P. canariensis exil, is shown in this photo. Section 2. Description The chiffchaff is a small, dumpy, 10 to 12 centimeter long leaf warbler. The male weighs 7 to 8 grams and the female 6 to 7 grams. The spring adult of the western nominate subspecies, P. C. calibida, has brown washed dull green upper parts, off white underparts becoming yellowish on the flanks, and a short whitish supercilium. It has dark legs, a fine dark bill, and short primary projection, or extension of the flight feathers beyond the folded wing. As the plumage wears, it gets duller and browner, and the yellow on the flanks tends to be lost. But after breeding season, there is a prolonged complete molt before migration. The newly fledged juvenile is browner above than the adult with yellow-white underparts, but molts about ten weeks after acquiring its first plumage. After molting, both the adult and the juvenile have brighter and greener upperparts and a paler supercilium. This warbler gets its name from its simple distinctive song, a repetitive, cheerful chiff-chaff. This song is one of the first avian signs that spring has returned. Its call is a wheat, less diceballic than the huit of the willow warbler or huit of the western Benelli's warbler. The song differs from that of the Iberian chiffchaff, which has a shorter dejoop, 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 weep, weep, chitty, 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 chitta. However, mixed singers occur in the hybridization zone and elsewhere, and can be difficult to allocate to species. When not singing, the chiffchaff can be difficult to distinguish from other leaf warblers with greenish upper parts and whitish underparts, particularly the willow warbler. However, that species has a longer primary projection, a sleeker, brighter appearance, and generally pale legs. Bonnelly's warbler, P. Bonnelly, might be confused with the eastern chiffchaff subspecies Tristis, but it has a plain face and green in the wings. The chiffchaff also has rounded wings in flight, and a diagnostic tail movement consisting of a dip, then sidewards wag, that distinguishes it from other philoscopus warblers and gives rise to the name tailwagger in India. Perhaps the greatest challenge is distinguishing non-singing birds of the nominate subspecies from Iberian chiffchaff in the field. In Great Britain and the Netherlands, all accepted records of vagrant Iberian chiffchaffs relate to singing males. 
An image accompanies this section of the article with the caption Nominate Subspecies P. C. Calibida. Section 3 Distribution and Habitat The chiffchaff breeds across Europe and Asia, east to eastern Siberia, and north to about 70 degrees north with isolated populations in northwest Africa, northern and western Turkey, and northwestern Iran. It is migratory, but it is one of the first pasherine birds to return to its breeding area in the spring, and among the last to leave in late autumn. When breeding, it is a bird of open woodlands with some taller trees and ground cover for nesting purposes. These trees are typically at least five meters high, with undergrowth that is an open, poor to medium mix of grasses, bracken, nettles, or similar plants. Its breeding habitat is quite specific, and even near relatives do not share it. For example, the willow warbler prefers younger trees, while the wood warbler prefers less undergrowth. In winter, the chiffchaff uses a wider range of habitats, including scrub, and is not so dependent on trees. It is often found near water, unlike the willow warbler, which tolerates drier habitats. There is an increasing tendency to winter in Western Europe, well north of the traditional areas, especially in coastal southern England and the mild urban microclimate of London. These overwintering chiffchaffs include some visitors of the eastern subspecies Abitinus and Tristus, so they are certainly not all birds which have bred locally, although some undoubtedly are. An image accompanies this section of the article with the caption Subspecies P. C. Tristus in Delhi. Section 4. Behavior Section 4.1. Territory The male chiffchaff is highly territorial during the breeding season, with a core territory typically 20 meters across, which is fiercely defended against other males. Other small birds may also be attacked. The male is inquisitive and fearless, attacking even dangerous predators like the stoat if they approach the nest, as well as egg thieves like the Eurasian jay. His song, given from a favored prominent vantage point, appears to be used to advertise in established territory and contact the female, rather than as a paternity guard strategy. Beyond the core territory, there is a larger feeding range which is variable in size, but typically ten or more times the area of the breeding territory. It is believed that the female has a larger feeding range than the male, after breeding has finished, the species abandons its territory and may join small flocks including other warblers prior to migration. Section 4.2 Breeding The male chiffchaff returns to its breeding territory two or three weeks before the female and immediately starts singing to establish ownership and attract a female. When a female is located, the male will use a slow, butterfly-like flight as part of the courtship ritual, but once a pair bond has been established, other females will be driven from the territory. The male has little involvement in the nesting process other than defending the territory. The female's nest is built on or near the ground in a concealed site in brambles, nettles, or other dense low vegetation. The domed nest has a side entrance and is constructed from coarse plant material such as dead leaves and grass, with finer material used on the interior before the addition of a lining of feathers. The typical nest is 12.5 centimeters high and 11 centimeters across. The clutch is 2 to 7, normally 5 or 6, cream-colored eggs which have tiny, ruddy, purple or blackish spots and are about 1.5 centimeters long and 1.2 centimeters across. They are incubated by the female for 13 to 14 days before hatching as naked, blind, altricial chicks. The female broods and feeds the chicks for another 14 to 15 days until they fledge. The male rarely participates in feeding, although this sometimes occurs, especially when bad weather limits insect supplies or if the female disappears. 
After fledging, the young stay in the vicinity of the nest for three to four weeks and are fed by and roost with the female although these interactions reduce after approximately the first fourteen days in the north of the range there is only time to raise one brood due to the short summer but a second brood is common in central and southern areas although pairs stay together during the breeding season and polygamy is uncommon even if the male and female return to the same site in the following year there is no apparent recognition or fidelity interbreeding with other species other than those formerly considered as subspecies of p calibida is rare but a few examples are known of hybridization with the willow warbler such hybrids give mixed songs but the latter alone is not proof of interspecific breeding this section contains an image with the caption siberian chiffchaff near hodel india section four point three feeding like most old-world warblers this small species is insectivorous moving restlessly through foliage or briefly hovering it has been recorded as taking insects mainly flies from more than fifty families along with other small and medium-sized invertebrates it will take the eggs and larvae of butterflies and moths particularly those of the winter moth the chiffchaff has been estimated to require about one-third of its weight in insects daily and it feeds almost continuously in the autumn to put on extra fat as fuel for the long migration flight section five predators and threats as with most small birds mortality in the first year of life is high but adults aged three to four years are regularly recorded and the record is more than seven years eggs chicks and fledglings of this ground nesting species are taken by stoats weasels and crows such as the european magpie and the adults are hunted by birds of prey particularly the sparrowhawk small birds are also at the mercy of the weather particularly when migrating but also on the breeding and wintering grounds the chiffchaff is occasionally a host of brood parasitic cuckoos including the common and horsefield cuckoos but it recognizes and rejects non-mimetic eggs and is therefore only rarely successfully brood parasitized like other passerine birds the chiffchaff can also acquire intestinal nematode parasites and external ticks the main effect of humans on this species is indirect through woodland clearance which affects the habitat predation by cats and collision with windows buildings and cars only the first of these has the potential to seriously affect populations but given the huge geographical spread of p c abitinus and p c tristis and woodland conservation policies in the range of p c calibita the chiffchaff's future seems assured section six status the chiffchaff has an enormous range with an estimated global extent of ten million square kilometers and a population of sixty to a hundred and twenty million individuals in europe alone although global population trends have not been quantified the species is not believed to approach the threshold for the population decline criterion of the iucn red list that is declining more than thirty per cent in ten years or three generations for these reasons the species is evaluated as least concern none of the major subspecies is under threat but exul as noted above is probably extinct the range of at least p c calibita seems to be expanding with northward advances in scotland norway and sweden and a large population increase in denmark there are references available in the written form of this article please be sure to verify information found on wikipedia using the references provided or cross-referencing the information yourself this article includes a link to the Wikimedia Commons project which has media related to Chiffchaff. This article also includes a link to the Wiki Species project which has information related to Chiffchaff. 
This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.